Oh, careful. That's not welded. Life with Bilsev here. How you doing? I'm back. Hopefully you didn't miss me too much. I know you missed me a little, but that's okay. You're allowed to. So I missed you too. As you seen in the last video there, we got uh, we were working on the air fender wells and stuff like that. And as you can see on this camera on my head, we got them in. We got them in without a scratch. So I'm pretty happy about that. Like I said, I'm just gonna change this color. I might just go back to black. Leave me a leave me a comment down below and let me know what you think. The inner fender wells look good. I did end up ordering an overflow thing for over here because I'm not gonna bolt my plastic onto that. There's no friggin' way in hell I'm gonna do that. So, but we're gonna work on the back bumper together today, which should be pretty exciting because everything could go wrong with this. We don't know yet. We're gonna get under here and see what's what. I have all my equipment. Wire cutters, wire splicers, sockets, never sees, connectors. Oh, I need two nuts. That's right, I need two nuts before I go under there. Let's see if we can't get under there and have everything we need. What do you think the chances are? I'm gonna say probably pretty slim to none. You never know. We just gotta find the right nuts for this, hold on. Eh, they don't feel right. Those aren't the right nuts. Let's try these ones. There they are. So we got two nuts for that. So we should have everything we need. We did hook up a bigger light today, so I'm not constantly moving it. And as you can see, I should have maybe grinded down that too, but whatever, man. There's no stopping it. So you're going to see most of the work today, and you up here are going to see kind of nothing is how it's going to work. So what I need is wires. There should be two wires here. This one's for the lights. And this one's for the brake light. So obviously this one is a ground, and this one just plugs right back into here. So that part should be pretty easy. So let's just kind of do something with this right now. Put this up, plug that in now. You know what, maybe we should extend that wire. I think I will, because that way I can put this way up here where it belongs. What do you think? Leave a comment down below. Well, you don't have to, because that's what I'm gonna do. Let's cut this off. Let's see, so now I already forgot something. What is that for? Oh God, my neck hurts already. Look how dirty my floor is already, and I just freaking painted it like a year ago. Hey, look, you can see where I grinded this down and then stopped. That's why I want to take the box off this next year. That way I can redo all this. So it looks mint. If I still have the truck. I don't know what's going to happen this year with this truck. To be honest with you. We'll have to see. We'll have to play every year. Huh, that should have been banged over a little bit before it tightened. Oh well, whatever. Okay, so... First thing we should do is, let's get these on first. And let's get the bolt back on the bumper first. And we'll go from there. So we need Loctite, or never sees, never sees, never sees, never sees, never sees to amaze me, never sees. There we go. There is one bolt here that I'm not gonna be able to put a nut on it. It's this guy. I gotta get a nut for that one. I still didn't get a nut for that. So it is what it is, it is. Oh man, huh. I'll be dipped. Can't believe I don't have a nut. I have bolts here, but I don't have nuts for it. Figure that one out. Oh man, this truck is never ending. Every time I look at it, there's more I want to fix. God almighty. Sometimes you just gotta fucking say fuck it. Okay, that's gonna take way too long. What do we gotta get while I'm up here? Piece of wire, zip ties. Solder gun. This, that, the other thing. I'll just put more than I need. Put more down than you need. Got them? All right. There we go. They even brought solder and solder gun. Because that's what I do. Why wouldn't I? Well, that was pretty easy. There we go. I don't want to over tighten them because they are welded. And I don't want to break them off the back side of the bumper because that would not be cool. So that's all they're getting. A little snuggy, snuggy. If they come loose later on, we'll worry about it then. I need a pillow. Fuck. Another thing I got to do too is change the oil now. This truck's been run. Oh, that's better. I wonder why I can't see an eye. I wonder why I have an eye. I don't know what to tell you. So these two wires have got to go to that wire. So we can trim them first. And I'm gonna put a connector on it, maybe. Because in case I ever wanna take the bumper off, I don't have to cut all my wires again. Hopefully they didn't cut that too short. I doubt it. Actually, you know what? I'm not gonna take the bumper off again for a long time. Well, I shouldn't say that. I might take it off next year. 
Greg, what do you think? Connectors or no connectors? Let me see what I got first. Probably don't have any anyway. That's a one-way connector, but that's not big enough. Where is it big enough? Actually, it might be big enough. Let's try that one. So we can get these two into here. We'll be all right. If we can't, this ain't gonna work. And I'll tell you right now, they're going in, Jim. Why is my neck so sore today? There it is. Give that a squeeze -a <laughs> Maybe. That's not it. There it is. So we should be able to heat that up and it should shrink. Let's find out. Sure did. Look at her go. Friggin' right. That, oh, careful. Don't burn the wire though. That's awesome. Heat shrinking we are. So now this one can go in here. Can you see? Probably not. We'll cut this one off. Right about there. Give her a twist. Give her a squeeze. And heat her up. I got to get some more of them connectors someday when I get more money. So now the next thing you want to do is never seize it. And then we'll click it together. And there's that one. Okay. So there's them done. So now what we want to do is we want to extend this wire so I can put this up in here where I want to put it. Like that. So we need to extend this wire here about that much longer. Oh, don't let me forget to get a 10 mil to tighten them up. I haven't tightened them up either. Like that. We'll cut this off. We'll get it. Ow! Dig something into my side. We'll get a piece of shrink wrap. Doesn't have to be positive because I don't have any the right size. So we'll just use black. We'll slide this in. Give it a wrap. And we'll give her a solder with the old cordless Quick FX3. Not too bad of a soldering gun. Works all right on small wire. You wouldn't want to use it on big wire. It just kind of sucks on big wire, just so you know. See, that's not bad, eh? That worked pretty good. There we go. So we'll let that cool for a minute so I don't shrink my shrink wrap while I'm doing it. And now we can start to work on the ground for that. A couple of eyeballs, which I hope I have. Oh God, I don't think I have any left. I think I used the last two. Oh man, what happened? Fig. Yes. We're gonna have to use red. Red it is. Can't do anything about it. Actually, you know what? We can take off the red and put on a black heat shrink, which would make it black. That's awful big. Anything smaller than that? How about white? Yep, white will work. We'll have to go with the white, we will. Maybe. With it go on? Probably not. Oh, for freak sakes. Oh, here we go. Perfect. There's a piece right there. Look at that. So we'll use the black for that. We'll find the pliers. We'll cut that in half because I need to. Uh, you know what? I can only do. I only need to do one of these, don't I? Yep. I only need one because we'll run this one over to here, so it can be staff food off right there, and then this one can be staff food right over here, and this one can be used for the other one. Recycle. Nothing wrong with that. Cap. Twist tie all these together to make one because we need three grounds, right? Okay. Get my bit, shove it in, and we're gonna have to try to squeeze the fuck out of that thing. We're gonna use the cutters, first of all, because they get a little bit more pressure. Oh yeah, they do. We'll give it another squeeze up here. Never seize. Slide this on. Come on, baby, you can make it. Come on, get on there, girl. Oh yeah, we did it, there it is. Perfect, there we go. And then that can go on there. We're gonna double nut it. And then we'll slide this sucker in. So now what I need is I need to slide this up and heat shrink it on. Now that it's cooled down. This is kind of a serious video, eh? Is anybody wondering, this is a Cadillac DeVille back brake light that's on this truck, if anybody's wondering. So now I need to make it so this goes up to here, which is about that far. And we need a, a spade. Uncle Spade, where are you, bud? Here you are. There we go. So we'll spade this on. Squeeze, heat, heat. There we go. Just so you know. We need some Loctite, or Loctite, um, never sees. Do, 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 perfect. And plug her in. Now we can tie all this up, actually, is what we can do. I'll get it, hold on. Come on. Put that up there, of the zip. And then all we can do is put another spade on there and plug the ground in. And then we're done. Might put a few zip ties on this just to hold her all together. We're looking pretty good here right now. We're almost freaking done, actually. Don't leave yet, though, because you never know what's gonna happen after this. Everything could just get cocked right over and leave the surprise till the end for you. You never know. Hey, so there we go. There's the ground for the light. So there we go. So now everything's unpluggable. I can unplug this, unplug that, unplug that. So if I gotta take the bumper off, I can just unplug everything. 
When I did it before, I couldn't unplug everything. But I still gotta tie this up because I don't like the way it looks. Don't worry, you can't see it from here at all. As you see, you can't see nothing from this side, so that's all that matters. We should check, make sure everything works too. Friggin' right, we will, right after we tape everything up. Just so, you know, if it doesn't work, we have to untape everything. Ah, we better check it right now. Let's check it now. Yeah, they're definitely working. Ooh, look at the gauges, boys. They're all lit up. Brakes. Can't tell if that one's working or not. Here, you tell me if it's working. Brakes. Good. Perfect. If it's not working, I'll find out when I'm editing the video. <laughs> Hopefully it freaking worked. Did it work? I hope so. Because literally, I meant that. I'm going to check it when I edit. I'm going to just... Trust myself. That's what I do. Trust myself. Actually, you know what? I'm surprised it worked because I haven't even tightened the ground yet. So how did that work? So the third brake light didn't work. It might be because the ground's still sloppy loose here, Jim. I'm sure it's fine though. Paid way too much for these fucking snap-on wrenches, I'll tell you. Fucking see me coming. If I didn't spend my money so stupid on snap-on stuff, I'd probably have more money. You know what I'm saying? There we go, that's tight. There we go. So tight. Got to get a nut for that. Tight. Never seized. Did I ever seize that? No, I didn't ever seize that. You almost let me forget one, Jim. Perfect. Okay. So I think we got everything. License plate lights. Look at the custom work on this bumper, boys. Just look at it. That's all welded. Oh, careful. That's not welded. It's unwelded. But anyways, pretty good. That's all done. That's all done. That's all done. And we're all done. Thanks for coming along with this little wire up job. I'm glad you all came. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Don't forget to leave any comments down below and let me know if you see anything that you would have done differently. Besides everything. But don't forget to subscribe and like and hit that notification. And we'll see you on the next one.